also just reading my last Jin post. Officials say TV reporter misled them to get a scoop by Paul Fahey. Ooh, some reporter at Channel 5 apparently pretended she wasn't a reporter, but she was from her from a church. A church. And then she gets in to see, do some jailhouse interview of this uh, man accused of uh, creating child pornography videos. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. ooh. Anyway, I'm just, uh, just spending my morning looking at the stale section. Oh, there. Anyway, the stale section. The weak link in the Bezos post. How you doing, everybody? It's me, Dave. It's Dave TV. I wanted to do a shout out this morning. To wanna, I'll do a shout out. Good, look at this guy, Alvin Jones. Takes out an ad in DCRTV. He's been buying an ad for a while here. Anyway, I like Alvin. He, he is such a cool cat. We um, met at a local Starbucks yesterday and had a nice chat. And he does a show called Planet Vehicle. On um, it's it's moving around. He said it's on JLA here, seven point two Me TV. But um, they're moving it over to News Channel Eight, and he's got some other shows, and he's doing some cool stuff down on Capitol Hill. We had a great time at um, at Starbucks yesterday. I mean, we could have chatted for hours and hours, but I just want to say it was such a pleasure. Um, we need to we need to do some sort of a show together. I think him and me need to get together and talk media stuff. Maybe do it. Maybe do a version of Dave TV. I, I brought my camera along yesterday, and I just was so interested. In, it was so much fun talking to him that I actually forgot to take the camera out. I was going to say, "Hey, why don't we shoot a ten-minute vision uh, version for Dave TV?" But I just completely was overwhelmed. <laughs> we had such a good time. We were talking about all the media stuff, and one of the things we brought up. As, as always, was what the hell's happened to WNEW? Why did CBS fire the whole staff there and, and lease it out to Bloomberg? And then I was saying, as I always said, you know, see, the one thing CBS did that was wrong was they didn't differentiate the station from the other news talkers or talkers or all newsers in the market. They really needed to do something different than what TOP was doing. And I said, one of the things they should have done was they should have had like some talk shows that were based on news. They should have hired like Derek McGinty and even and even Alvin should have could have joined the station and they could have had him do a talk show that would be newsy and have some of the reporters on and they would talk local news and they needed to shake it up and do something different that that the other stations aren't doing. Maybe even have like a zooey type show, you know, with fun and comedy in it, but news based. And, you know, we, we had a good chat and, you know, we were just. You know, we just said, you know, CBS is a basically, a, you know, I don't know, the cold culture over there is don't go out on a limb and try something new. And then what do you do after three and a half years or almost four years of WNEW, it goes down in flames. But anyway, a lot of my sources are telling me, don't be surprised to see CBS take back that station and do something with it. I don't know. Steve Davis, who is the vice president of programming for CBS DC here in Baltimore has started up a um, an oldies or a classic hits channel there on uh, WIAD's um, 94.7 HD2. If anybody has an HD radio, if you have a newish car, you might have an HD radio in it. But check that out. It's got you know it, it sounds a lot like Big, you know, without the commercials. But uh, you know everyone was saying, well, if they didn't lease out the 991 signal to Bloomberg, that might have been what ended up on 991. But who knows? Anyway, so that's that. So what did I want to do here? I wanted to talk to you today about your soul and its salvation. Oh, no, wait, no. <laughs> no, it is not uh, just a sermon, just a, not a sermon, just a thought. I want to talk about the radio ratings. Got the radio ratings for... Ugh, keep the camera moving. You see, got my old camo pants on. These are size 28s. I love them, man. They are great. Anyway. Um, anyway. <laughs> um, okay. The radio ratings for January 2016. Some interesting things. But, T.O.P., firmly at the top. You know, now the January ratings period, I guess it's, it's January. It's January, right? I, you know, th these these ratings periods aren't always exactly the months they say. They're kind of sometimes, but I guess they, there was bad weather and T.O.P. did really well. T.O.P. is uh, 
they're first place in mornings. This is the six plus demos, okay? So, you know, I didn't get the money demos, but anyway, these are the standard numbers, but they do show some good trends. Anyway, you look at um, you look at everything, and they're they're their first place in every just about every demographic. I mean, every um every day part. First place full days. First place in mornings. First place in middays. First place in afternoons. First place in evenings. And first place in overnights. Uh, they come down to second place on mid on 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 weekends. But still, okay. And I'm looking at their trend numbers. They're pretty much from a year ago holding pretty steady. Uh, up, up in many of their day parts from from January 2015. So you know, what do you say? You know, uh, you listen to TOP. I listen to TOP sometimes, and I, some of this stuff drives me a little crazy. Like that Jason Fraley guy that does the movie reviews and stuff. I think he's kind of. What do I think? He's just kind of. <laughs> you know, they should be. He, I think they did something on like the Grammy Awards, and all he did was read off some of the nominees for some of the Grammys. It's like, well, I could have done that. You read it out of the paper. I don't know. And then you got the Neil Logenstein. Neil Logenstein. <laughs> he actually uh, enjoyed my uh, impersonation of him during my la one of my last Dave TV. Neil Logenstein. I'm going to start talking like Neil Logenstein. And anyway, so then second place, WAMU. This is Neil Logenstein with the radio ratings. Uh, w <laughs> I'm going to go insane. Neil Logenstein, no, no, Neil Logenstein was in second. WAMU in second place. Again, they're firmly ensconced in second place for just about all the day parts. Uh, but they are first place. They do beat T.O.P. on the weekend. So uh, I guess people like listening to those reruns of Car Talk. Oh, let me see. I'm up to six, almost seven minute mark. Let's get this show on the road, Dave. Wash, third place in the January ratings. Lou in the morning, third place. You know, there again, solid performer. Hot 99.5, fourth place. Kane in third place. Um, their afternoons are third place, so they're doing pretty good. HUR, fourth place. They're down from a year ago when they were third, but it's still insignificant, I think. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they're down a little bit from a year ago. Mornings with Steve Harvey, third place. They're up a little bit there. Um, fourth place in afternoons, so they're doing fine. PGC, now PGC has had a big up phase. Last year, in last January, January 2015, they were like in 18th place, and now they're up to 8th place. So they've definitely gone way up there. Um, Joe Claire in the mornings, he's doing better than Pablo, but he's still not doing probably where they want him to be. 11th place. With Pablo, they were 18th place. So, you know, he's, he's struggling, but he's struggling in the right direction. Um, uh, fourth place in afternoons. Uh, KYS, seventh place. Again, they're, they're up from last year quite a bit, which makes you wonder why are they effing with things like moving, uh, um, I was going to say Jack Parr. <laughs> moving Russ Parr off over to MMJ because he does very well in the mornings there. You know, seventh place in the mornings, their 11th place in afternoons. I don't know. We'll see. WETA doing very well. Seventh place um, uh, tied with uh, KYS. Uh, big, W Big, ninth place. They're holding steady. Ninth place, Big Rig in mornings at 10th place. MMJ, eighth place. Now, they're up quite a bit. So, they're you know, the moves to put... Um, to put uh, Donnie Simpson in afternoons was a good move. They've gone from 12th place a year ago to 7th place now with Donnie Simpson. So that was a good move. But, you know, um, Tom Joyner does very well for MMJ in the mornings with, at 7th place. So moving him over to WOL and, you know, I don't know. That's going to be interesting to see how that thing shakes out. So we'll see. MAL. You would think MAL would be doing better than what they're doing, considering we're in a presidential year, election year. Last year, they were 8th place overall. Now they're 11th place. Morning's on the mall with um, old fuddy-duddy Brian and kooky metrosexual uh, Larry is 8th uh, place. They were 4th place a year ago. Rush is doing well in middays, up from 7th to 3rd in a year. And the afternoons, now they've taken a hit. They used to be 7th place, now they're 14th. They really need to get rid of that kook ball Michael Savage and put on some local talk. But, you know, what is Cumulus? You know, Cumulus knows best, right? MZQ, 11th place. They're up a bit 
from a year ago, uh, 14th place in mornings, which is about steady for them. Fresh 94.7 is up a little bit for in a year. They've gone from 13th a year ago to 11th now. Tommy McFly, about 12th place. He was 14th a year ago. So they're, they're going up, but not great. You know, I'm, I'm, they're doing okay. CBS still, they have, what, they used to have five major FMers. Now they have four, and they still only have one in the top, reliably in the top 10 PGC. Uh, GTS at 14th place, pretty much holding steady from a year ago. Go. Praise, um, 15th place. Elzol, I, I don't know. I'm, I can't see these numbers. Elzol, 16th place. DC 101. Now, there's a sad one. DC 101, 17th place. They were 8th place a year ago. They've really taken a hit. Um, we're still trying to figure that one out. Kane, way down. Uh, Kane, Kane. Elliot. Elliot's way down. He was 7th place a year ago in mornings. Now he's 17th. He's losing his audience. I don't know. If things happen like this, we may not see Elliot survive the year there at the DC 101, man. They're in there. Just the station is like it's lost an engine and it's heading down. And oh, oh man, something's up or something's down. Uh, also, at RQX, even though Jack Diamond has returned, they're still not doing too well. They were 20th place a year ago. Now they're 18th place, and their afternoon and their mornings were 22nd, and now they're 18th. Now they are up a little bit, but still, you know, you think Jack Diamond would come by and you know shoot him up into the top 10 at least in mornings? No, 18th place with Jack Diamond um, in mornings. And JFK, um, you know, they're about the same. Although the junkies seem to have taken a hit, at least in the overall demo. You know, they were 8th place last year in mornings, and now they're 17th. So I don't know. Uh, you know, Chad Duke's staying at 18th place there. TEM at uh, 20th place. No changes for them. 20th place in the mornings, 20th place for Zabin in the afternoon, so I don't know. Um, so that's about it. You know, it just it's interesting to see uh, PGC up pretty good, MMJ up pretty good, DC 101 really sinked and bad, RQX still got a lot of troubles. Um... Uh, CBS. <laughs> Where's WNEW in this? Let's see how low I have to go to find WNEW. Where are you, WNEW? Oh, there we are, 31st place. So now they're down. They're down. They were 21st place with the local news a year ago. Now they're 31st place. Mornings were like 18th or 19th. Now they're 38th. So how's that Bloomberg working out for you? I guess as long as CBS has got the wheelbarrow full of money coming in from uh, Mr. Bloomberg, that's all that matters. All right, folks. Thanks for watching Dave TV for the 18th of February, 2016. Don't forget to help support DCR TV. Send us a few bucks, please, won't you? Thanks for watching, and uh, adios, amigos. Ah.